Hi guys, um, it's been a while since I've done a, a DVD Blu-ray review, but um, I do have one today, and it's another steel book. It's the uh, Green Lantern um, steel book exclusive from HMV. A couple of cool things that uh, I didn't know when I initially pre-ordered it is that you get a exclusive costume for Batman Arkham City video game. Now, seeing as this is for Blu-ray, I'm not sure if that's uh, going to be a PS3 only. I'm going to find out in a minute. And it is an extended cut on Blu-ray um, as well, so that's pretty cool. Um, I've got a little bit of a moan and um, a little bit of things that I'm, I'm happy with. So uh, I'll basically take off the um, plastic covering now. Or the cellophane or whatever you call it. The... One second. Let's get this covering off. So, when you take it off, you there you go, age ratings go off. And the age rating comes off there. That's fantastic. This unfortunately, this great big this unfortunately this great big blue thing with the triple play, which is I don't like it on, on uh, my steel books to be honest with you. I want that to come off. Unfortunately, it doesn't. On the back there. Um, we've got all the information. Luckily, that does peel off. So I want to be gentle because oh my goodness, too much glue on here. Oh, oh we've got the the Green Lantern's oath on the back. So okay, so I've had time to uh, look at the picture and. and um, review um you know the picture itself and some of the extras um i'm going to basically go over the still book itself and tell you what i think of it as i said not a big fan of the big blue band there um best buy in america have got a nice still book on available um it's a pretty big still book actually it's the dvd size um and uh while I like the picture more on this one, um, because they've got Hal Jordan on the Best Buy one, it has uh, no blue band on the top. So I don't see why we in the UK have to uh, put up with this on the top here when, um, you know, they're quite happily going to do a nice um, uh, clean steel, steel book for, uh, you know, Best Buy customers. But there you go. Um, but, you know, I mean, I do like the picture on the front the you know the side looks pretty cool there uh, and i think it's a nice touch on the back putting the green lantern oath um and it's also you know almost made it no age ratings you know none of that um all that information on the back uh, just that blu-ray band you know they almost made it i mean even inside uh, for warner brothers this is um actually one of them <laughs> their best efforts because I'm, I'm not really a fan of uh the, the you know the presentation of their um, steel books in the UK, but uh, this is actually is a step forward for them. So if we uh, open it up, um, we've got the digital copy here. What you will need, blah blah blah, digital copy. And I hardly ever use them. It won't be in HD, so who cares? Um, right, the Batman Arkham City um, skin. I'm I was right. In saying it's only for PS3, but it doesn't say that on the front of the um, Blu-ray disc, so you might want to review that um, because it's uh, misleading to certain people. I'm not really that bothered um, because you know I don't see the point of um, playing Batman um, in this co in this costume. Um, but I will um, probably do a competition um, so someone can win this. Um, for their PS3 game. Uh, the discs have a nice sort of green glow to them and uh, they're not bad, they're pretty good for uh, Warner Brothers discs. You know, normally you get um, very bland discs from them and uh, I think they made a nice effort there. <coughs> and uh, this is a digital copy and a DVD. And I really like the picture inside as well. 
of the, uh, if I can get a better, better uh, there you go, all of the uh, Green Lantern core. There you go. Al Jordan and Kilowog and Sinestro. Sinestro, however you pronounce it. Um, so, uh, I have reviewed the film when it originally came out. Um, on on the theatre, the you know the cinema, and um, what I said, you know, I, I couldn't really see um, what the fuss was, you know, why people were hating on it so much, you know. I, I, I once I compared it with all the other superhero films that came out this year, it was the weakest out of the lot of them. I have to admit that it does have its flaws. Um, this is the extended cut. I haven't had a chance to watch the whole film, so whether that makes a difference to the film, I, I mean, I doubt it. I still, <laughs> I mean, the picture on, on the actual film itself looks amazing, fantastic. Um, but um, I still feel that, um, you know, the action in it was good. I mean, it's, you know, the, the, but not not as many as I would like to have seen. I would, would have liked to have seen how Jordan... Um, more in space, you know, more um, of him fighting, you know, as a Green Lantern with the with the other Green Lanterns, and uh, you know, it it could have done with a bit less of the Earth scenes because I, I really didn't care for some of those scenes. I, I felt, um, you know, it sort of slowed down the film, the pacing of the film, but. Um, even though, as I said, I preferred um, Captain America, Thor, and um, X-Men First Class. This, for me, even though it's below those, um, that's not a bad thing, because they, they were very, very good films, and this is enjoyable, but uh, not quite up with the others. Anyway, um, the extras on here are pretty good. Uh, you know, deleted scenes are okay. They, they don't have... Um, the the full CGI work done to them, so there's a lot of uh, mo mocap suit wearing, and um, not much uh, to bring to the storyline. So, kind of see why they were on the cutting room floor, uh, and it, it must have been at a very early stage as well. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of um, stuff where you can stop the, you know, watch the film and then stop it and then find out how it was made and find out about how. Um, Ryan Reynolds, you know, uh, immersed himself in the role of Hal Jordan, and um, it's all informative stuff. A lot of it is in HD, which is another thing I like. Um, and I think it's a uh, a pretty good pickup. I mean, I'm a Green Lantern fan. I was before um, the film came out, so that might have played a part in why I enjoyed it as much as I did maybe if you're a non Green Lantern fan um, you know th th maybe there's not enough explanation on on um, what the what the Green Lantern core are about um, I, may, I mean that's probably my argument against Transformers really I mean everyone says um, how great Transformers is but uh, you really don't if you're not a Transformers fan there's really not enough in those films uh, to make you care about the Transformers robots in them. You, you, <laughs> there's just not enough information for you to actually have any sympathy for when any, when any of those robots die. But you do have it because, you you know, if you're a Transformers fan, you know who those characters are and you, you sympathise with them more. And, it, you know, with this, with the Green Lantern, you know, if you know more about them before you see the film, it definitely helps. Um, there's also um, some information here on... Um, the TV um, series coming out on uh, Cartoon Network. It looks good. Um, the CGI looks a bit. In, uh, it, um, was it the in Incredibles? Looks a bit like that. A little bit. Not maybe not as great, but um, the, the show looks good. I'm, I'll probably check it out when it comes to the UK. And um, overall, I'm I'm pretty happy with this release. Uh, I'm gonna sit down, watch the whole extended cut, and. Um, Hopefully I'm going to enjoy it even more than when I saw it at the theatre. I'll catch you later, guys.